Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you right now in your son Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father God, for blessing me to see another day, Father God, in your son Jesus Christ's name. Thanking you and thanking you and giving you my praise always, whether it's in spirit or in, in truth, all the way around, Father God. I just want to thank you for giving me this opportunity, Father God. This is very deep and very serious, Father God, and I and I just thank you. I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for even blessing me to even have a second chance to be able to start my life over, to be to be able to see where my wrongs was and to make my wrongs right, Father God, as I continue to go on in my life throughout this journey here on earth. So I thank you for being able for me being able to commune with my family my brothers and my sisters and you know what else but in your son jesus christ's name i pray father god please keep my broadcast covered please keep my channel covered as i always state cover what's coming out of my mouth father god cover it cover it all in your son jesus christ's name i pray amen hey y'all I am back um pretty much with a um a good video always good always good I'm, I'm not perfect but I am like I always say trying to do better in my life I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying I'm I'm on here to give a message as always um, I've been seeing some things on the internet. I won't elaborate. I won't get into it. I won't call in, call any names because it just doesn't make any sense. I see beyond all of it. But what it is that I bring, the message that I bring, hopefully it can help someone else out there, hopefully, and it will be able to help someone out there that is going through, you know, some things or something similar to it. But what I'm going to talk about is about these relationships right these 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 relationships i remember um in in, in my past in my past in my past y'all excuse me that go for you know i gotta say that for the uh the the man that i'm i'm dealing with here you know like i say he watching and then he don't know how to you know get the message you know i i am trying to help other people as the lord is helping me but hopefully God continues to touch him so he can understand this whole process here. Um, but uh, I was in a relationship before him, before the guy that I am with now. Um, if you remember uh, videos back, videos back, actually on my first channel. I believe it's my first channel. I don't upload on that channel because I see, I see no point. But um, hopefully it can run in together and uh, YouTube can make up make, make that decision. <laughs> but anyways, let me get to the story. Um, I was in, a, if you guys remember, I told you I was in uh, two relationships before the one I am in now. And with all that being said, I was with the first one for years, you know. And, and, and I know he loves me, which was... Um, which was the Jamaican and as things started beginning to get rocky because women can only take so much uh, and, and men expect or just automatically put in their head that a woman is just supposed to take that crap all the time all the time all the time some women are built for that and then there's some women that's just not built for it they just say enough is enough and you know Okay, Father God, let me not go there because then some people, but I'm going to have to come how I am at some point in time and, and try not to hold back because I feel like people going to get in their feelings. But the truth is the truth. But um, some women are built for it. And and some women, they're just not built for it. Uh, oh, where's my charger? I got to charge the phone, you guys, just a moment. Just a moment, just a moment. Okay. 
Okay. So like I was saying, some women are built for it. Some women are not built for it. When I say built for it, it's like constantly going through different things with a man, with a guy, with a boyfriend or who, whomever else it is. And um, the woman's just supposed to continue to stay there, you know, and deal with it and deal with it. Some women, you know, they move on, you know, just like I heard, you know, um, from a young lady you know uh a while ago how she said that you know sometimes it is it's when when your mind is gone when your mind has left the relationship it pretty much for a woman it, it it's over it, it's over because next is her body you know and once a man can understand that and get that down pat then maybe he'll learn how to operate in a relationship and treat his woman good especially he know he has he has a good woman now with all that being said all this little drama here you know with baby daddy baby mama you know this one and that one what i always say that's why i loved older men and older men don't have to come as in old men older men are mature mature man you know the one i'm with now he's the only one that i that i you know i have been with that that is not mature he's just not mature but i pray to god that he continue to help him with that you know so he can help himself and then also be able to to instill you know goodness into his son but in the relationship that i was that i was in I got a, I, things wasn't going right with the Jamaican. Things was not going right. Every, he loved me. Yes, he loved me, but I just didn't know how to love him. You know, I was young. That's not an excuse, but it's the truth. I was young. So when things started getting rocky and, and, and I think we just knew or he knew, should I say that he just had to let it go or it was going to be some serious consequences, um, which as I got older, I understood that. Um, but we remain, I want to say friends, we, we remain cordial, um, even after the breakup. And then I met the older guy, you know, which if you know, listen to my videos back in the back, but I met the older guy and, um, we started off real slow. He, he wanted to go real slow. I was the one kind of forcing it and pushing it, you know, you know how us women can be. You know, if we, you know, done broke up with one relationship and we feeling all vulnerable and feeling like, you know, we need, we need a, a man or we need that, that, that confidant, you know, and, and then we be done saw something else that we like. So we pursue that. But what I did respect about that gentleman is that he wanted to take his time. He, 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 he taught me some things. I won't put all of it out there to make y'all wise. Cause you know, I got more videos to come, but he wanted to take his time with it. He wanted to take his time and I didn't quite understand it at the time but as as we as we got closer and as the relationship began to kept begin to keep moving on I saw why now maybe the young gen generation need to pick this up that's why I said I really do believe in some of the old ways and some of the old ways some people are not going to get it meaning that what I respected about my ex was he knew that I had a man, even though I left him, he got, he got to see, you know, the man that I was with and, and, and he liked the morals and the principles in, in this man. And for another man to say, that's a good man. Don't leave him. That, that really did mean a lot. It didn't dawn on, on me until years passed later, you know, um, but what but what what dawned on me and what got me what i don't see a lot uh in reality world and on uh the internet world whether it's it's real a lot of this stuff is real you know because i can tell and a lot of it's just bullshit but to the to, to to the situations that i know is real and i'm not gonna call in any, any names because you know they will feel it they will know the person will know it um that do you know that when me and the guy the older guy when we was in a relationship that the jamaican like when when we got low on money and we needed help or whatever do you know that 
he um i would tell him that i will go to my ex and ask my ex can i borrow money from him and he'll pay him back now i don't know if most men think like that these days or uh or what but i don't I don't really see anything wrong. I know it can lead to certain things. Don't get me wrong because I'm not trying to put anything out here that's just, just fake and not real. I know it can lead to other things. But if you have a strong mind, it, it, it wouldn't. And back then, I really didn't have a strong mind. That's why I say it can lead to other things. But eventually, my mind begot, it became stronger. Do you know this man will let us borrow the money? Technically him, the one that I was in a relationship with. And I, and I ain't talking about no little money, money, you know. And he he didn't have to do that. He really didn't have to do that. And then when and then when my man had got paid, which was the older man, he stuck to his word. He paid that brother back. Now, even though both of them, I ain't going to say that they had a problem because, see, I deal with, I deal deal with with mature people you know the men weren't gonna bicker and go back and forth with each other for what that there there's no need for that you come together as a as a family that's why i say in my video i believe when when you get out of a relationship with somebody don't let that shit in on 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 bad terms don't let that shit end on um hatred or enviness because it's not going to serve justice for you or the other person and especially if y'all have children involved why can't you come together as a family you know i i looked at it i looked at at that as as it was a family relationship because i i have never saw anything like that and i'm glad i grew up and was able to actually go through that to experience that you know that even though my man felt some type of way with me going to him and asking him to borrow borrow money from him but it's like that man stood on his word like even though she borrowing his money from you and she your ex bro she mine she mine so he made sure that money was back he made sure that money went back to him so i, I just want to get on here and just you know lighten it up a little bit lighten it up a little bit like you know kind of get out your, your your feelings if you if you're in a relationship with if you were in a relationship and you're not in that relationship anymore and you got some type of hurt or pain or 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 something that's deep down inside of you because you feel as though that person have moved on just know the person still do love you but it has to be a respect level there it has somebody has to draw the line to where we say we we all are family we all are family because technically you are you are family so you got to learn how to balance it balance it you know maybe you know have a conversation have a conversation with the with, with the other man or the woman with the other woman you know so you can see the vows you can see the principles you can see what a line draw word were not to cross over at you know where just to keep it family related because both of you are not together anymore you know that was it that was just a quick little video i was watching some things online and then also some things you know that you know happened in, in, in my life as i was watching it online you know and, and and other things that's going on too so you know just just balance it out y'all just you know people could get it together people could actually live as a family even though you know one has moved on you know and eventually the other one moved on or forced to move on you know just to try to make the other person feel some type of way no that'll bring more anger and more strife you just got to learn how to just deal with it know that you have that love 
you know and just keep it like that and especially if you have children be adults be mutual uh parents know how to take care of the child both reciprocate it you know both 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 and and all y'all just be a happy family i don't mean y'all y'all do crazy stuff and you know one sneaky behind the other back or anything like that no just being a family just know because you never know if you might need that brother that brother might need you and and, and a real you know serious emergency type of thing you know what i'm saying so I just believe in just that that family, just that family love. Family don't always consist of blood. It doesn't. It really doesn't. But um yeah. And it's so sad um not to get all off and get to another but my best friend, if she watched it's supposed to be my best friend, um girl, I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's like I ain't did nothing to you. You know I love you. I'm going to continue to love you, girl. And I wish nothing but the best for you. But at this point, it's like I'm 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 tired of keep trying, keep trying, keep trying to mend relationships that I know deeply inside of myself that I did nothing wrong. Now I probably done I probably, you know, had some little shady, you know, moments or whatever, but it's it's like you you didn't either and i feel as though you had more shady moments than, than me now don't take this in a bad way man you done been through a lot girl man you done been through a lot but it's like come on now like keep it real but i'm learning whoever want to leave out my life leave out my life because my life is getting ready to pew rocket and it's like i be wanting to take the ones that i love the ones that i care about all this time they've been backstabbers to me so i'm moving in a positive direction and i pray and i hope everybody in my life and my physical life around me that i know and that i love is moving on in a positive direction because i am this thing is going to be turned up it's going to be turned up in a good way it's already turned up but uh, it always got to be some negative but hey don't worry i'm gonna always be here to flip it around for positive y'all keep keep going keep being strong ladies because baby i'm being strong you know i don't talk about i don't even need to talk about it the lord is working it all out <laughs> for my good so um I love you guys, and, um, yeah, y'all yeah, keep it positive. I'm finna go back and listen to my music. Seem like that's what I do all the time, but then see, I gotta do some other things, too. But, um, bless, blessings, blessings, blessings. Love you guys. Bye.